we're going to follow the part that came from the bar department over there into this area here. This is our weld bench area. This is where those parts become a sub-assembly. What we're going to do is we're going to come down here to our robot and we're going to talk to Matt who's operating it right now. So let's go take a look. Hey Matt, how's it going today? Hey, good to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah. Hey, we got uh, our friends here. We want to talk a little bit about the robot. and uh, uh, We see that you got a part ready here to come out. Sure. So if you want to tell me a little bit about uh, what, what's going on here, you, you have to set this and prep it? Uh, yeah, basically uh, these parts come off the laser light. They all cut out. This part in the middle is machined out, so it takes the fab or in the bar department to make these parts, and then they come to me. I'll set up in the fixture. This fixture holds all the parts in place so that everything won't move, and uh, it'll come in to attack well the corners so that it will not uh, come moving the parts so that when the weld, when the weld goes in, it's not going to warp and sure. it'll pull itself apart. Now, do you have to have a uniform like this to operate this uh, high expensive piece of equipment right here? That's right. Now, uh, is this custom made or? That's right. I uh, made this myself. Uh, it's my fifth prototype and uh, you, you know, every profession has its uniform and like a welder it. has his, his uniform, but I want to make it look like I make fire trucks. All right. This is what I, uh, I do it and if I don't wear it when I come in, I, I'm not as productive as I could be, but the most important tool I have of all is my uh, pocket watch. Oh, neat. Not just any average pocket watch. It is the customer is the king pocket watch. It's not, it, it wasn't originally a pocket watch. It was a, a coin, a challenge coin that each employee is given that uh, reminds us uh, who we work for. Like, what we have inscribed around there, around the watch is uh, commitment, uh, quality, innovation, and perseverance. And that's the key work ethics and models we work by so that we can do our best job. And the way I do my best job is knowing that the robot is running efficiently, correctly, and all the parts are loaded correctly in the fixture. And just taking the time to double check everything. Well, that's good. That's great. That's great information, Matt. We really appreciate it. Now we're just going to take a step back and we're, like, we're going to let you do your work. How's that sound? Well, that sounds good. I like a good idea. Thanks for your time. Matt finished up these parts, he's got them on a pallet, getting ready to go to paint. They're going to get painted up and then they're going to get bolted on a truck. So again, Matt, thank, thank you for your time. We really much appreciate it. And thank you for watching Inside Pierce. I'm Brad White.